Hey guys, we are continuing to look at slope intercept form. Today we're going to look at how do we write the equation of a graphed line in slope intercept form, which if you remember from yesterday is y equals mx plus b. So the first thing that we will have to do is identify the slope and we're talking about a graphed line here and remember we find the slope by doing rise over run. So we'll have to draw our slope triangle and count the rise over the run. Okay, then we need to identify the y-intercept, which remember that is where the graphed line crosses the y-axis. I think that's a little bit easier to find than the slope because all we're doing is looking where it intersects the y-axis. Then once we have our slope, which is m, and our y-intercept, which is b, we will be able to write the equation in y equals mx plus b form or slope intercept form. So let's go ahead and try that on number one. First thing I need to do is find the slope by using rise over run. So I'm going to find two perfect points. Remember, we can use any two points on the line, but it's a little bit easier whenever we use two points that are closer together. So I see two perfect points right there. This is a positive line and the rise is two and the run is one. So that means the slope is two over one, which is two. And then the y-intercept is where it intersects the y-axis, which is at positive three. And now I can write my equation in slope-intercept form. The slope is two, so it'd be y equals 2x, and then the y-intercept is 3, so plus 3. Okay, let's try the next one. First thing I notice is this is a negative line, so I'm going to go ahead and put that negative sign on my slope so I do not forget that very important step. Okay, now I'm going to find two perfect points and draw my slope triangle and count the rise. It's 1, 2 and the run is one, two, three. So the slope is negative two thirds. And then the y-intercept is where we intersect the y-axis at negative four. So that means the equation of this line is y equals negative two thirds x minus four. All right, let's look at number three. Again, I have another negative line, so I'm going to put that negative sign on my slope so I don't forget it. And I need to find two perfect points. I see one here and I see one here. And now I'm going to draw my slope triangle. And the rise is one, two, three, four, five. And the run is one. So the slope is negative 5 over 1, which simplifies to negative 5. And the y-intercept, it intersects the x-axis at the origin. So the y-intercept is 0. So that might, means my equation is just y equals negative 5x. That implies that the y-intercept is 0 since I'm not adding anything. Okay, next one, I have a positive line this time. Let's find the slope by drawing two perfect points. And your slope triangle, the rise is one, two, three, four, and the run is one, two, three. So that means the slope is four thirds. And then I intersect the y-axis at negative 6. So that means the equation is y equals 4 thirds x minus 6. Okay, let's look at number 5. We need to be careful because the y-axis is counting by 2's this time. So first thing I notice about my slope is it's negative. I'm going to put my negative sign. I'm going to draw my two perfect points in my slope triangle. Okay, I'm going to count my rise, but remember we are counting by twos for our rise. So it's going to be two, four, six. And then the run is just counting by ones. 
So the run will be one, two. So the slope is negative six over two, which simplifies to negative three. And then the y intercept is right here. It crosses the y axis at eight. So that means our equation is y equals negative three x plus eight. Okay, last one we need to be careful because this time the y-axis is counting by fives. Okay, and let's draw our two perfect points. Here's my slope triangle. The rise is only two spaces, but remember it's counting by fives, so it's actually five, ten. And then the run is just counting by ones, so it's one, so the slope is ten over one, which simplifies to ten. And then the y-intercept, we cross the y-axis at negative 20. So that means the equation is y equals 10x minus 20.